How's it going, people? Look what I just picked up. I am looking so forward to this. This is a book we've been waiting a, a century to read, and I've heard some great things. Unfortunately, I'm not reading this at this moment, but I, as soon as I uh, finish with the Dawkins book, uh, this is next. Unfortunately, I'm reading this. Oh, and by the way, the Dawkins book, uh, Greatest Show on Earth, it's a fantastic book. It's the only thing truly sad about it is the people who need to read it won't. Because it isn't telling them what they want to hear. And they don't have any use for something that doesn't do that. Yeah. Oh. A little, uh... Nectar of the God from Scotland, from the Highlands. I better go easy. I've been a little bit under the weather this week, and then the hay fever is starting to kick my ass. And there's about seven drinks here. Probably should have drank beer, but oh well. Too late. Chapter 7. Down the hatch. Oh, that's good. Ah. Thought it might make me coffee. Nope. And now it came to pass that after King Mosiah had had continual peace for the space of three years, he was desirous to know concerning the people uh, who went up to dwell in the land of Lehi Nephi or in the city of Lehi-Nephi, which means the same thing, so they had to say it twice, because <laughs> it's the Book of Mormon. <laughs> uh, uh, for his people had heard nothing from them from the time they uh, left the land of Zarahemla. Therefore, they wearied him with their teasings, because you can just tease a king. Yeah. Guess it isn't good to be the king. Ooh, I think I poured a little too much. Ugh. Oh well, can't pour it back. Gotta slow down. Verse 2. And it came to pass... Let me see. What do you think? Is that two? That's two verses. Yeah, that's two verses. Ah. That the king, that King Mosiah granted that 16 of their strong men might go up to the land of Lehi Nephi to inquire concerning their brethren. And it came to pass that on the morrow they started to go up. Having with them one Ammon, he being a strong and mighty man. Oh, if he's one of the sixteen, or is he seventeenth? Um, and a descendant of Zarahemla, somebody we never heard of. And don't really give a shit about. You know, show us something historical and we'll be impressed. And he was also their leader, Ammon. So he's the uh, he's the front man. <sighs> and now they knew not the course they should travel in the wilderness to go up to the land of Lehi Nephi. Therefore, they wandered many days in the wilderness. You guys didn't have any maps. You came from there. <laughs> you know where it's at. You got lost. Nobody. They didn't keep any maps, sir. <sighs> and wandered many days in the wilderness. Even, can you guess? Forty days. Forty. Yeah. <laughs> Did they wander? <laughs> 
<laughs> and when they had wandered 40 days, they came to a hill, uh, which is north of, the, north of the land of Shilom. And there they pitched their tents. Fucking fascinating. <laughs> and Ammon took three of his brethren, and their names were Amalekai, Helam, and Him, with an E. Uh, and they went down into the land of Nephi. They finally found it, I guess. <laughs> and behold, they met uh, the king of the people who was in the land of Nephi and in the land of Shilom, and they were surrounded by the king's guard and were taken and were bound and were committed to prison because they both surprised the fuck out of each other, apparently. <laughs> Just talk about serendipity. They just walked right into the king and his entourage. All right. Whew. Verse 8. <clears throat> and it came to pass, when they had been in prison two days, they were again brought before the king, and their bands were loosed, and they stood before the king, uh, and were permitted, rather commanded. Everyone's commanding somebody in this book. I don't think I like these guys. They're kind of bossy, <laughs> rather commanded that they should answer the questions which he should ask them. And he said unto them, Behold, I am Limhi, me too, <laughs> and the son of Noah, not the other guy, you know, with the big boat full of animals, but the naughty king. <laughs> who was the son of Zenith, uh, who came up out of the land of Zarahemla <laughs> to inherit this land, which was the land of their fathers, who was made a king by the voice of the people. So they elected him. And now I desire to know uh, the cause whereby ye were so bold as to come near the walls of the city. I mean, he's telling his captives this shit? I mean, who's, talk, who's pleading with who? <laughs> Was with the guards without the, the gate. Yeah, they just happened to walk, into the, walk up to the king while he's outside the gates. <laughs> that must have scared the crap out of him. And now, for this cause, I have suffered that ye should be preserved. Long speech there, king, <laughs> that I might inquire of you. You could have just said, hey, what the fuck were you sneaking up on the king for? But no, we got to go into this long speech here. Um that I might inquire of you, or else I should have caused my, that my guard should have put you to death. Ye are permitted to speak. He's going to finally shut the fuck up. It's almost like a Fox interview with a with somebody liberally leaning. <laughs> answer my question! Answer my question! Answer my question! Why aren't you answering my question? Because you haven't shut up yet. <laughs> or it's like talking to one of those Muslim uh, guys, you know, that they win by out-shouting you. <laughs> You may speak now. That's big of you, Kingy. <laughs> you are permitted to speak. And now, when Ammon saw that he was permitted to speak, and it was smart of him to hold his peace and listen to all that shit, I hope he was paying attention. There might be a quiz. <laughs> he went forth and bowed himself before the king, and rising, he said, O king, I am very thankful before God this day that I am yet alive, and am permitted to speak, and I will endeavor to speak with boldness. I mean, I think this is uh, kicking in. For I am assured 
that if ye had known me, ye would not have suffered that I, that I should have worn these bands. But it's okay. He's into it. <laughs> For I am Ammon, and I am a descendant of Zarahimla. <laughs> And have come up out of the land of Zarahimla to inquire concerning our brethren, whom Zenith brought up out of that land. <laughs> Oops. I think this is kicking in with... I think it's... I forgot I took some cough syrup earlier because I've been feeling a little sick. Uh oh. Oh well. I'll just finish this video and lay down for a while. That's all. Ah! I forgot about the cough syrup. Uh, and now it came to pass that after Lim Hai had heard the words of Ammon, he was exceeding glad and said, Now I know the surety that my brethren, who are in the land of Zarahimla, are yet alive. <laughs> Could have sent a smoke signal. <laughs> and now I will rejoice. And on the morrow I will cause that my people shall rejoice also. For behold, we are in bondage to the Lamanites and are taxed with a tax, which is grievous to be borne. <laughs> well, your tax keeps off their attacks. <laughs> and now, behold, our brethren will deliver us out of bondage, or out of the hand of the Lamanites, and we will be their slaves. We'll be their, we'll be your bitches. You know, it's like they'll be like Jack Black when he's tied to a tree and, uh, you know, <laughs> in a uh, tropical thunder. You know, <laughs> just let me go. I'll do anything. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> For it is better to be slaves, Nephites, than to pay tribute to the king of the Lamanites. Sounds lame, doesn't it? And now King Limhi commanded his guards uh, that they should no more bind Ammon nor his brethren, but cause that they should go to the hill which was north of Shilom and bring his brethren into the city that thereby, thereby they might meet uh, they might eat and drink and rest themselves from the labors of their journey having had an easier time than the scouts did <laughs> for they had suffered many things they had suffered hunger thirst and fatigue i guess there wasn't much great place to make camp you could have camped where there was fucking food dipshit this is to chapter 14. No, wait, no, it's to chapter 17. I've got them highlighted. I didn't even read the fucking thing except, you know, months ago. I just, I just totally look for it. It came to pass and highlighted it. If I didn't find one, I look for something else. <laughs> That's how it works, folks. <laughs> I've given away the secret. Make your own drinking games. They won't get anyone watching, but if a whole ton of people did it, it'd still be pretty cool. Uh, and now, it came to pass on the morrow that King Limhi sent a proclamation among all his people that thereby they might gather themselves together to the temple to hear the words he should speak unto them. I hope he isn't going to give them a bingy speech. I mean, the dust will kill them. <laughs> uh. 
And it came to pass that when they had gathered themselves together, that he spake, O ye, my people, lift up your hands and be comforted. For behold, the time is at hand, or is not far distant. <laughs> That's what we keep hearing. Oh, well, May 21st, 2011, huh? Didn't work, huh? We might have been off a little bit. Don't stop worrying. <laughs> keep worrying. <laughs> Uh, for behold, the time is at hand, or not far distant. That's where I got thrown. Okay. <sighs> See, unscripted now. That's the downside. <laughs> unscripted and no time limit. What the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> when we shall no longer be in subjugation, subjugation, to our enemies, notwithstanding our many strugglings, which have been in vain, yet I trust there remaineth an effectual struggle to be made. <laughs> okay. Therefore, <laughs> lift up your heads and rejoice. You haven't given us a reason for that yet. I guess it's to come. And put your trust in God, who's been letting you down so far, hasn't he? In that God, who is the God of Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, it could be yours. Just stick your head deep up your ass and leave it there. <laughs> and also, that God who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt and caused that they should walk through the Red Sea on dry ground and fed them with manna that they might not perish in the wilderness and many more things did he do for them. And again, that same God has brought our fathers out of the land of Jerusalem. Yeah, we've been figuring out that connection. You're trying to use Jerusalem's exile from Egypt's exile. That's why the Egyptians who built with limestone were asking <coughs> the Israelites to make mud bricks with straw, which was what the Babylonians did. A thousand years later, give or take a thousand Fucktards? <laughs> I've totally lost my place. All right. Um, and again, that same God has brought our fathers out of the land of Jerusalem and has kept and preserved his people even until now. And behold, it is because of our iniquities <laughs> and abominations. Oh, God damn you. I didn't even highlight that one. I missed it. God damn. Ah! All right, now that's a little much. Ah. Abominations. That he has brought us into bondage. It's our fucking fault. We're just slightly codependent. He only kicks my ass because I deserve it. He needs me! <laughs> That's so sad! <laughs> Why is it so fucking funny, too? <laughs> I'm delirious. That's what it is. Okay, I'm alright. It's your fucking fault you're fucked. <laughs> Ye, all are witness this day that Zenith, who was made king over this people, pity about the name, Zenith, they must have picked on your ass. Oh, wait, that's right, you're a king. Uh, he, being overzealous to inherit the land of his fathers, therefore being decisive by the cunning and craftiness of 
of the king Laman, who was, who having entered into a treaty with King Zenith and having yielded up into his hands the possessions of a part of the land. See, that's kind of ironic. <laughs> Aren't the Lamanites the Indians, American Indians, the Aboriginal Americans? <laughs> and here they are. We just want a little more living room, a little more elbow room. <laughs> uh, entered a treaty with the king uh, Zenith, and having yielded up into his hands the possessions of a part of the land, or even the city of Lehi-Nephi, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little sick from, uh, I, I've been sick all week, <laughs> I'm almost over it, I think, uh, and the city of Shilom and the land roundabout. That's all you gave him? Did you get uh, some shiny beads for that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> like I said, I've been a little sick. Uh, and all this he did for the sole purpose of bringing this people into subjugation or into bondage. Okay. They get a choice. Would you like bondage or subjugation? You don't tell don't tell anybody you didn't you weren't given a choice. Oh shit. Would you like an ass kicking or would you like your ass kicked? <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice. <laughs> Uh, and behold, we at this time do pay tribute to the king of the Lamanites <laughs> to the amount of one half of our corn and our barley and even all our grain. He could have said all our grain and saved some gold. <laughs> and every kind of every kind, and one half of the increase of our flocks and our herds, and even one half of all we have or possess. Well, you could have just said one half of all ye could have or possess. It would be a very short chapter for this book. A very short verse, I mean, for this book. <laughs> We have or possess the king of the Lamanites just extract of us or our lives. So he'll kill your ass if he doesn't make... But you'd rather live even though he's making your life a living hell. You're so wise. We should listen to what you say, dipshit. <laughs> and now, is it not grievous to be born... Yeah, you idiot! <laughs> you could have drank the Kool-Aid instead. And is not this our affliction great? Quit your bitch, and I'm already sick of you. <laughs> now, behold, how great we have to mourn. Shut the fuck up already. You bitchin' fucktard. <laughs> Yea, I say unto you, Great are the reasons which we have to mourn, for behold, how many of our brethren have been slain, and their blood has been spilt in vain. But Jesus, who said, Oh God, why have you forsaken me? His death wasn't in vain. We've assigned meaning to it. That was his whole fucking purpose. He's going to say a few things, help a couple of lucky people, and then everybody else has got to like be the, be his bitch after that. Fucking in. brilliant. All right. Mm. For behold, how many of our brethren have been slain, and their blood has been spilt in vain, and all because of iniquity. 
for this uh, for if this people hath not fallen into transgression, the Lord would not have suffered that this great evil should come upon them. You know, this sounds like a little kid with a, a jar full of bugs and a magnifying glass. <clears throat> but behold, they would not hearken unto his words, but there arose a con rose contentions among them, even so much that they did shed blood among themselves. No oh, shit! They did that? And a prophet of the Lord has... Uh, have they slain? <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> a chosen man of God, but he didn't do shit for him, did he? No, 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 no. I could do anything, but I won't. And it's for a fucking reason beyond your reasoning. So just die and suffer. It's for a reason. Little kid with a magnifying glass. I want to remind you of that analogy, folks. <sighs> Who told them of their wickedness and abominations? I guess I shouldn't play all games at once, huh? Chapter 7 may be the death of me, folks. Ah! Ah! Okay, where was that fucking abominations? Ugh. And! It was chapter 20, uh, verse 26. Uh and prophesied many things which are to come, yea, even the coming of Christ. This really makes a fucking lot of sense. I wonder, I wonder how, how that happened. Actually, nothing can help it. And you said I should use the Spirit. I tried. Shit, this bottle's almost dead. Ah. <laughs> you know, if they didn't keep saying Jesus Christ, that this would be a little more convincing. <sighs> and because ye said unto them that Christ was the God, the Father of all things, his own daddy, and his own son, and his own daddy, and his own son, and uh, all right, that's enough. And said that he should take upon him the image of a man. He's going to stoop really low just for us. What the fuck is up with this game he's playing? See some bored little kid tormenting his own creations? Is that it? If so, what the fuck do we need a devil for? Oh, that's right, he made him too. Fuck you. There you go. You got it. You got it documented. Fuck you, God. Because if this is true, I don't like this son of a bitch and bitch of a son. The room's starting to spin. Let's see if I can finish this video. The image of a man. And it should be the image after which man was created in the beginning because nothing's everything's about human beings honestly the whole fucking universe is about us one species <laughs> aren't we fucking important isn't that great you could have been born a slug but you weren't born a human being instead the universe should bow for and kiss your ass because you're in the image of God. <sighs> or, in other words, he said that man was created after the image of God. Whoa! <laughs> I look like God. If I see myself walking in the street, I'm going to go, Hey, God, I've got a million questions for you. You got a minute? 
and that God should come down among the children of men and take upon him flesh and blood, big of him, <laughs> and go forth among the face of the earth. I smell bullshit. <laughs> and now, because he said this, and they put him to death, they killed God. They killed God. <laughs> but he's still alive, because you can't kill him. You can kill him, but you got to keep killing him and kill him and kill him forever. So, fuck that shit. <laughs> and many more things uh, did they do which brought down the wrath of God upon them. See, it's all our fucking faults. God created us the way we are, and he's pissed at us for being the way we are. It makes sense. If you're drunk enough, I'm still not drunk enough yet. <laughs> Therefore, who wondereth that they are in bondage and that they are smitten with sore afflictions? It's your fault. What are you wondering, bitch? You asshole. You deserve this. <laughs> and behold, the Lord has said, I will not succor my people in a day of their transgression. What about the prodigal son? Just wondering. Good question, don't you think? Uh, I guess it's do as I say, not as I do with God. The big G. Fuck you. You owe us if you made us. So, fuck you, you deadbeat dad. If you exist at all, and I sure as fuck don't think you do. <sighs> For behold, the Lord hath said, I will not succor my people in the day of their transgression. <laughs> but I will hedge up there are ways that they prosper not. You're going to take your ball and in the game. You're going to go home with the ball. So, game over because you're pissed. Fuck you again. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're an asshole. <laughs> Why haven't I been struck by lightning yet, people? Huh? Huh? I'm going on 51. I'll be 51 years old in April. April Fools. For behold, the Lord has said, I will not succor my people in the day of their transgression, but I will hedge up their ways that they prosper not, and their doing shall be a stumbling block before them. You sound like a real prick, G. <laughs> and again, he saith, if my people shall sow filthiness. Ugh. Why do you care? You made it. You, it's like a little kid with an ant farm. Who gives a shit? What the fuck's wrong with you? God? You need therapy, bitch! <laughs> uh, and again he saith, if my people shall sow filthiness, they shall reap the chaff thereof in the whirlwind. He's using every cliche he can pluck from the Bible. <laughs> this is totally believable. <laughs> April Fool's. <sighs> and the effect thereof is poison. And again, he saith, If my people shall sow filthiness, they shall reap the east wind, because no other wind will do. God's going to break wind on your ass. And sow filthiness. <laughs> Which bringeth immediate destruction. Just like the children of the offspring of Job, the east wind took their asses out. 
They're having a nice feast, a feast and then they're suck. Then a roof falls in on them. <laughs> and now, behold, the promise of the Lord is fulfilled. And ye are smitten, afflicted, and afflicted, and it's your fucking fault. Don't blame God. Hey, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> yeah, I've been forced to play that game. So God is the uber bully. I'm waiting for a lightning bolt. I'm getting this as high up as I can. Fuck you. If you're real. And you're not. And fuck Zeus too, that asshole! <laughs> but if ye will turn the Lord with full purpose of heart and put your trust in him and serve him with all diligence of mind, if ye do this, he will according to his own will and pleasure, he sounds like a bully, all right, deliver you out of bondage. And that chapter was hell. <laughs> Thanks for suffering with me, people. I appreciate that a lot. I really do. Uh, peace. The fuck. Out. And whatever you're having, I hope it's the best thing of whatever the fuck you're having possible.